Hello everyone, welcome to KK4Z. My name is Scott and today I thought I would do a short video to show people how to record their radio transmissions, uh, specifically their CW. Um, one of the requirements or one of the homework assignments that CW Innovations does is they want you to do what's called head sending, where you are sending without reading something, without looking at something. In other words, like you're having a conversation and you're just sending right right from your head to your hands, so to speak. And they want you to record it so you can go back and listen to it. And you know, I know lots of you guys out there know how to do this. I, I do, and... Um, this is for the folks that might not know how to do it. And uh, this is just a little short kind of video to give you some ideas. So what I do is I go from my headphone jack into my recorder and then either to a set of um, earbuds or in this case I have a, a creative uh, Bluetooth uh, speaker that will also accept the an eighth inch input, stereo input. Um, I got the creative one because I was able to buy it for about 10 bucks and it, it works pretty well. And it's got its own, it's got its own uh, battery. It's a, uh, yeah, it works well enough. Anyhow, um, I want to talk about the recorder for a second. Now, this is a, a nice recorder. I bought it years ago for a couple other projects. And, um, do you need something this fancy? No. Um, if you're going to do this and you're going to do it fairly regularly, I would suggest that you get a two-channel, in other words, a stereo recorder, and um, that it has an external mic in or an external line in. And this one does back here. That right there is the line in input and what that does is it disables these two microphones and um, I takes the line in directly from you can see on the meters that there is there is some uh, signal coming through and we'll talk about that in a minute too and then this is just a stereo out and then stir and then stereo into here you'll have to excuse my desk i've just been doing a lot of stuff and i'll let it get real messy uh this is an adapter it's a recommended adapter by milso i have about half a dozen of them i use for different things and the icoms have a quarter inch or the this this icon has a quarter inch headphone jack and this just converts it down to an eighth inch i also use these for my paddles like I said, I got about half a dozen. All my radios that take a quarter inch have one of these in it. And sometimes two if it's both headphone and key. Uh, you'll notice this has a blinking light. On this particular recorder, it has a, a um, I can't think of it now, but this is like a pre-record. And so when I, when I first hit the record button, it blinks and it's paused. And it allows you to adjust the levels. And we're going to talk about levels in just a second. Your mileage may vary depending on what type of recorder you use. Um, but this one allows me to make adjustments without having to actually record. And you can see that it is, it is you know, um, showing the levels of the static in the background. Now, to set up your radio... On, on this icon, I have my break-in switches right here. On the Asus, a lot of the newer Asus, it's buried in the menu. On the 7300, there's actually a button over here for it. But you want to turn it off. That way you will not transmit any signal. If you watch my meter, when I hit the... See, nothing moves. The other thing you can do... Um, to get rid of some of the stack, there's two things you can do. Um, on most radios, you can turn the RF gain down like I had. But on this radio, 
if I push this, it has a mute function. So now the static is gone. And now you hear just a pure CW. All right. Uh, the last thing is you want to make sure your levels are good. And I'll try and let's try that. All right. So when I key it, if you know, if you look at my meter, my signal's a little hot. It's about minus 6 dB. And where you really want it to be is about minus 12. Now, this rate, this recorder has a line in adjustment. And again, you'll see it. So if I bring it down to the mic level, probably two, let's try 0.6 and see what that does. There you go, it's right at minus 12. Now, that adjustment is the input, and then I also have a volume adjustment over here, which you can see I can adjust the volume. So it's got a separate in adjustment and a separate out adjustment. And so now you're ready. And so for me to record, I just, I just tap the record button again and then you'll see the transport start and you'll see me start and record. There we go. All right. And then to stop it, I just hit the stop button. And, I, and now it's recorded. I can go back and replay it. Now, I wanted to talk briefly, um, just because it really doesn't need a separate video, about pencils that I use logging. When I do logging in the field, I'm normally on a right in the rain uh, notebook. And the tooth or the, uh, the grain of the paper on right in the reins is a little bit more than your standard uh, writing. And what that does is it, it lets the softer leads deposit more graphite onto the paper, which is okay, but that also leads to more smudging or being able to smudge and it reduces the uh, erasability of that graphite. So what I do on my pencils, and I use either a 0 0.5 to a 0 0.7, and for in the field, I am really kind of preferring the 0 0.7 millimeter leads, is instead of going with an HB, which is a, what they call a middle of the road lead, and which you mostly get when you buy a, um, a pencil, is I've gone to a, either an H, or a 2H. Now, H and B are on opposite sides of HB. B stands for black or blacker, and H stands for hard. So if you want a thicker, darker, and in some cases a more smudgy line, you want to go to the B side if you want a lighter, harder line, you go to the H side. But now the H's are a little bit more easy to erase than the other one. So what I'm finding is I'm liking either an H or a 2H for when I'm logging in the field. It just makes the it makes your logbook, to me, makes it neater. And, and my handwriting is sloppy as it is, so I need all the help I can get. Anyhow, that's just a, a, a quick hint. Um of uh, what you can do. I will uh, put this on my blog. I will post uh, this adapter where you can get it. Um, again, there's a lot of there's a lot of recorders out there that are probably do. There's some that are about about thirty bucks that'll probably do. You know, ninety percent of what this one does. Again, all you really need is a two channel recorder. And and the other reason why you need a two channel recorder is when it plays back and you have headphones on, if it's a single track, it usually only plays in one ear, 
which is, it could bother you, it bothers me. And so if you have a two track, you can have both, the, you can hear it in both ears. And then with some radios, your transmit audio is in one ear and then your receive audio is in the other ear or sometimes they mix them. But it does sound better to have the stereo because your headphones are stereo. So that's it. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Again, if you guys already know this, this regard, but you know, for those that, that don't know this, maybe this will help you to make decent recordings to help you with your studies. Anyhow, that's all I got. 73s, everyone. I hope you have a great day.